So Anthony Fantano decided to troll Drake last night and release some fake DMs between them. In response, Drake decided to release their actual DMs, but the actual DMs were so embarrassing for Drake. <laughs> so last night, Fantano posted this video called Drake Slid Into My DMs. I'm pretty excited because last night I was reached out to by the raging Canadian himself, Champagne Poppy, AKA Drake. Yes, Drake sent me a direct message via Instagram. So then Fantano proceeds to show what the DMs were. Anthony, it's Drizzy. I know we don't really see eye to eye about music and that you are not the biggest fan of most of my albums. Thanks for the kind words on Take Care. And if you're reading this, though, I'm, I'm really happy that Drake at least acknowledges uh, the fact that I have enjoyed those albums. But it is what it is you know. Can always hope you'll like the next one. That is true. I am always looking forward to the next Drake release with head held high with hopes in my heart uh thinking that it will be better than the last right off the bat most people watching this including myself i thought it was a little bit weird that he started with anthony it's drizzy but for the most part i was like okay maybe drake could have said this i know drake is kind of corny i still thought that um you know it might be something going into it that i might enjoy so but i'm not messaging you about your videos i'm actually messaging you because i found a really great vegan cookie recipe i love you to try drake is sending me a vegan cookie recipe <laughs> wait hold on i have to find it in my bookmarks immediately at this point because i know fantano's a huge troll i knew that this was fake and fantano has been trolling a lot recently something's different he's always been a troll but recently he's been trolling like way more than than usual especially after that nav review which was just an ai generated script he couldn't even be bothered to actually review the project but a lot of people have a lot of trust issues because Fantano has trolled about other things in the past and has lied or made jokes. His audience is basically one big meme, so it's really always hard to see what's serious and what isn't. So a lot of people thought that this could have been real. Okay, here it is. I think now you guys are seeing why I, I had to share this. Ingredients. One half cup of coconut oil. Solid but scoopable. I can do that. So basically for the next five minutes, he goes on to read this really long recipe, give his thoughts on it. It just keeps going. So naturally the comments, Drake is such a nice and caring guy. I'm glad he supports you. Anthony, you've gaslighted me so much with your lies that I cannot tell if this video is true or not. I'm surprised that anybody thought it was true, but regardless, he posted on Twitter. It did pretty well. Even this other account, Kirko, said Drake DM'd Anthony Fantano and sent him a vegan cookie recipe, which also did pretty well. We knew that Drake shared it on his Instagram. Fantano tweeted, that bitch shared the salty ass DM to over 100 million people. Drake took it upon himself to release the actual DMs, which says, your existence is a light one, and the one is cause you're alive, and cause you somehow wifed a black girl. I'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence. So here's the thing. Let's just say overall, Anthony Fantano left Drake on red. He didn't even respond to him, which is amazing. So obviously the vegan cookie recipe was all a troll. It's a joke. Cool. But Drake starting with your existence is a light one and the one is because you're alive is like the most middle school burn ever. <laughs> like you couldn't come up with anything other than, oh, you're alive and that's a problem. You got to do better than that, especially when you have time to think about it. And if you want to troll, like just take the time to be funny. Who cares? A vegan cookie recipe? It's not even that big of a deal. Anyways, and because you somehow wiped a black girl, you're not going to know that unless you pay attention to Fantano to a little bit more of an extensive degree. So clearly, <laughs> Fantano's been on Drake's radar for a minute, and I'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence is just like, bro. What is this? The playground? I mean, come on. This is like when you say something and it's like, your your mom's fat. That's the best you got, Drake? Come on. This is actually embarrassing. And now Fantano's going on a tirade on Twitter, just basking in this victory because he trolled him with something that was so like, is actually just like funny and silly and goofy. I feel like people would give Drake the highest praise if he just, you know, posted the video or took a screenshot from Fantano's video and was like, this was funny, man. Like, you got me good troll, whatever. And like, everybody would have been like yo drake you're the fucking man but he's like salty and bitter about it and it's just
was like, who cares? Anyways, Fantano, I made that man leak his own DMs. <laughs> My rating system lives rent-free in his head. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly rent-free. You did say something. I feel like everybody knows his rating system. Posted that he's still listening to Drake, which is nice. And even still, like, he's admitting that he's just joking around for anybody that really thinks that this is serious. Even Hive Mind got the <laughs> retweet. Drake mad about the flannel Fantano <laughs> left him on red. I think it's pretty safe to say that Anthony Fantano won this troll war. Drake had the ability to chime in on the memes, and I think everybody would have kumbaya together. It would have been a great moment. But instead, this just looks like a massive victory for Fantano and really just makes Drake look even more bitter and salty and more of a punching bag than we even thought. Arguably one of the best trolls of all time. Stay hydrated.